Let me show you a very interesting problem. Apparently this should be very simple in SOLIDWORKS to, to get a sphere to ride on top of these three faces like what I'm doing right now using the physical dynamics. So as you can see this is what you're looking for but we want to apply mates for that. And uh, if you try to apply just a tangent mate between the sphere and the plane you, you're gonna get it working but what do you do about the other two faces because you cannot add another face to, to this selection. What if we replace these three faces with only one? So let me open this part in its own window for um, for a better view. I'm gonna select these three entities and fit a spline on top of it like we demonstrated in a previous video. Let's say even one tau as tolerance and we get only one face. And again you go back here and you hope, oh that's good, let's, uh, let's apply the mate. Surprise, surprise, the tangent mate doesn't work. Why is that? Let's go to the help file. And you're going to find out that uh, the tangent mate in uh, SOLIDWORKS has uh, some limitations. So a sphere would work only with a cone, a cylinder, a line and a plane and or another sphere. So no such surface. It will not work with an extrusion. Um, what else can we do? Let's open this part and uh, I'm just going to make uh, this sketch visible for a second because I want to to cheat a little bit. I'm going to create a cylinder just by converting this, this sketch. You know, you can pick up the endpoint, drag them one over the other and as you can see I'm ob obtaining a, a full circle. Right? Let's use this for a little cylinder. I'm just going to go maybe mid plane and let's make it smaller so I can see, still see the, the sphere. Do not merge the result. So I'm having two separate bodies. I can change the color of this body so you can see they are different. Let's go back to my uh, assembly. And this time let's apply two mates. I'm going to make the cylinder, the face of the cylinder, tangent to this face. So a cylinder is a little bit more tangent friendly than a sphere. And also I'm going to get this face to be parallel to this face. Now coming back to the part, or of course I could have done it in, inside the assembly, you can hide this body. So now what you have is a nice sphere riding on top of those three faces, right? So it looks pretty, pretty good and that's about it. Uh, by the way, the inspiration to these tech tips came from Jory on a SOLIDWORKS forum. Thank you so much, Jerry.